One of the biggest issues facing women today is what to do about menopause. Menopause is part of life. Menopause is the natural evolution of ovaries. Some people earlier, some people later, but eventually ovaries burn out. And when they burn out, the estrogen that they made basically goes down to zero. And that has all sorts of ramifications for metabolism throughout the body, especially in the brain. The drop in estrogen changes the sympathetic nervous system to generate heat. And so you get these hot flashes and they feel awful because the sympathetic nervous system, what, which was under suppression by estrogen, is now basically released from it. And so you get all sorts of you know, unpleasant and unwanted side effects from the drop in estrogen. Now, one of the other problems is that women premenopausally have low serum LDL and triglycerides, but after menopause, their LDL and triglycerides rise. And no one's sure why that is. But that puts women at increased risk for cardiovascular uh, events later on in life. They are protected from heart attacks prior to menopause, but they catch up after menopause. So controlling that LDL and triglyceride rise that occurs after menopause is a high priority. Estrogen is also responsible for growth hormone release. And so when estrogen declines, growth hormone goes down. And so women lose muscle the same as men. And when it, muscle is lost, it is often replaced as fat. So all of these phenomena are conspiring to basically destroy women's healthy metabolism as they pass through menopause. The good news is that most of them are remediable with both changes in diet and improved exercise.